How's it hanging, fella? Sam Orosh, and this is another episode of Yakuza 4. And in today's episode, Zhao San wants to talk to me. I should head to East Taihei Boulevard to get to Homeland. So, yeah, when I booted up this game, I was like, who the fuck is this character? Where the fuck is Saijima? Why are his hands like fucking big giant spatulas? The fuck is wrong with him? He looks fucking disproportionate when I'm looking at him too long. He does have a pretty cool jacket and some really fucked up crooked tie. I don't really get this guy. I think he's a cop, detective, some fucking dumbass. His fighting style is alright. It's very... Who cares? Oh, what the fuck? Public intoxication violence in front of Millennium Tower. Wait, that's the, this way. Well, that's kind of cool, so I get like reports and I get to punish crimes. I think that's the intoxication, somebody's laying on the ground. Looks like all the ruckus tires come out. Hey sir, wake up, bitch. You're liable to catch a cold sleeping out here. Let me alone. People are do going to trip over you, come on, get up. Just get away from me. Can't you see I'm trying to sleep here? What, you're gonna fucking fight me, you fucking idiot? So I guess we're gonna get a little bit of a reminder what the fuck this guy's about. I haven't fucking played this game in a while. I've actually been playing Akka 6. Um, the clan creator. He's got some parry moves, which are pretty cool. I think he's cool because his combos are... Like, Saijima's combos were a little more difficult to do. Not that they were difficult, but compared to Hiryu, for example, Saijima. I'd say Saijima is more difficult than Hiryu because you have to charge your moves and shit. Which, when you have not upgraded Saijima, it leaves you open for attacks. But fully upgraded, he pretty much fucking tanks every hit. And... This guy, on the other hand, you don't have to charge anything. He just simply does punch and kick combos, and it's pretty cool. And he's got that... I think instead of blocking, I mean he can block, but if you press the block just at the right moment, then he does a parry move where he grabs the opponent, kind of throws them around. I feel like he's actually pretty cool. I like his design somewhat. I don't know, it feels like a similar case with Saijima where I really fucking like his design sometimes, but then other times I look at him and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> it's like, I don't know, depends on the... No context. Or not context. Depends on like angles and shit, I guess. Or whatever the fuck. Also, I think we first thing we did is this guy has checked out his the fuck you want? Beating up again? We checked out his karaoke songs and they are absolutely abysmal. He he can go karaoke, but he might as well never fucking go karaoke because he doesn't sing anything on his own. Instead he's got two fucking karaoke songs that he can sing and he doesn't fucking sing in them. He just simply sits in the back, claps, and that's fucking it. It was fucking awful. But check this out. I think we finally, as this guy, have access to a new area in Kamurocho, which is the Chinatown that was blocked before. Pretty cool. Walks in through our restaurant, there's a big head laying around cooking up food. Fucking whoever the fuck. Oh, my fucking right arm hurts so much. I don't know what the fuck I did to it. Have I been jacking off too much? I don't know, maybe. It fucking hurts. I don't know what the fuck I did. Could it be all the workout I'm doing? I don't fucking know. That's the case. I think I did something at work. Work was, I don't know, mixed bag today. Money? Am I a corrupted cop? Twenty-one回目ですよ。月一回って約束でしょ。勘弁してください。先週入った女はコリアンだろ。留学生か。
不法就労助長っつう犯罪なの知ってた捕まれば3年以下の懲役もしくは300万円以下のバッグ。Wait, what is going on? 店の女が警察に逃げ込めねえこと知ってて、いろいろとちょっかい出してるみたいじゃないあんた。強姦罪も追加されたい。ま、いいや。ところでこの女見かけたら、俺に連絡くれ。うん、誰ですかこれ。教えない。警察の機密事項だから。I am kind of a crook cop. I just joined a blind eye to some Korean exchange student fucking getting molested here. The actual fuck. You know what? That would be pretty cool. A Yakuza game where you play as the bad guy. Let's say his all the heat actions where he stabs people to death are all canon. This game turned into sleeping dogs all of a sudden. We're in Chinatown. Hi, Jao Zairi, Toma. So, Chinese is complicated. Look at these fucking symbols. How the fuck anyone's supposed to read that? What's the point of being so complicated? Some of them look pretty simple though, and then they're standing right next to some fucked up whatever the fuck. また一人増えるのかあ父親が韓国に送還されたらしいどうして先日その父親が骨事故を起こしたら I'd like to be sent to Korea Why not? まま警察に引っ張られて Start a new life オーバーステイがバレたらしいそりゃついてないな子供はまだ5歳うちで面倒見るしかないだろうなその子供の教育をしても回すのかヤムロカそれともまた巻き上げてきたのかヤムロカそれともまた巻き上げてきたのかヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカヤムロカ Drugs, maybe. I don't fucking know. Or I guess they take in kids of immigrants or some shit. There was some immigrant side plot in Yakuza Zero, if I remember. There was some Chinese girl that didn't have a visa, but she kind of had a speech problem. And Kiryu thought she wanted a pizza. And、uh, that might have been the dumbest fucking side quest. Ever in a Yakuza game because it ends with the guy who, you know, forced her into prostitution com coming out in front of Kiryu after Kiryu kicks his ass. This guy who been forcing this girl for, to, to sell herself on the streets tells him that he's actually in love with her secretly. But it's like, and then the girl gets all excited, and then Kiryu's like, wow, all, all, all well that ends well. And then he walks away. And I was, when, I, when that happened in my Let's Play, I was like, Kill you, he's gonna fucking beat her ass as soon as you fucking leave. What is wrong with you? He wasn't fucking honest. You know what? I was recording some、uh, Phoenix Wright yesterday, and I had this Coke called Freeway Coke, but I also have the Zero Sugar version. Is it better? Probably not, though. When has a Zero Sugar version of a drink been better than the original? Never. And if you said something right now, such as, oh, what about zero coke? I stand my point, and they're garbage. They're fucking awful. So, what kept. Actually, this one's not that bad. It tastes about the same as the other one. I don't fucking know how, but. Whichever one's cheaper, get them. Zero sugar or the normal one. 
kind of tastes the same. That's funny. So what kept you today? I thought you'd be here earlier. This detective, sugoichi san was grilling me back at the station ever since that shooting homicide's been all in, up in my ass. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> police questioning police? That's ridiculous. Yeah, normally I wouldn't give a damn, but apparently this wasn't just one random punk killing another. So I'm supposed to be some kind of a street patrol? How the fuck am I allowed to walk around like this? I don't look like a cop. I am a cop, apparently, but I don't look like one. I'm supposed to be some kind of investigator, detective? Then why the fuck am I doing patrols on the streets and just like not fuck, just fucking around? I fucking, what's it called? I don't know. Taking money from people for turning a blind eye on their fucking illegal shit that we just witnessed. I don't even know what the fuck they were talking about. I want to forget about it. Yeah, I don't know. Tony Moore is fucking weird. And that whole story with his actor changing from the original version of the game to this one. It's also really weird. You know what's fun? In Yakuza 6, all of the fucking dialogue in the game is voice acted, even the side quests. And the new city they have, uh, Onomichi, is really fun. It's small, but it's like kind of fun to walk around. It's like a. It reminds me of the city from Yakuza 3. Oh, well, I forgot what it was called. I know the island was called Okinawa, but the city, I forgot what the fuck it was called. Because it's like a bit of a. Well, Okinawa was straight up on an island and just had a Hawaii vibe. This one has a similar vibe, but not exactly. It's more of a port town. Uh, well, town. But the characters you meet there are kind of similar to the characters you met in Yakuza 3. Oh, fuck my arm, it's killing me. It was significant enough to set the Toja clan against itself. Although why homicide cares so much about mob activity is beyond me. That's what organized crime's for. Either way, we don't need another gang war in this city. Yeah, we need another gang bang. Oh, it's not just the Dojo clan, I heard the Uena Seiwa involved. Uena Seiwa? Wait, isn't that... Yeah? I feel like this Tanimura's plot is finally actually putting the plot back on the track because Saijima's plot was completely fucking, for the most part, irrelevant to what the fuck was ha happening in Akiyama's story. You know, it was c just completely not connected. In yeah, the same clan, like, Akiyama had some Yakuza friends of his boss killed, and there was a bunch of shit, and the police arrested him, but then left him out. There was a whole business about the strange woman coming to his club and then working at... Working some kind of debt there or some shit. Or she wanted to borrow money, I think. Yeah, I think that's the case. And there was the whole Ueno Seiwa clan keep being mentioned even though I wasn't exactly sure what the fuck they were supposed to be. And then Saijima, like, side story... Saijima's portion of the story didn't really fucking feature a lot of that. Instead it focused on Saijima... The backstory, it talked a lot about the events happening in 80s, even before Yakuza 0, so it was really fucking complicated. I would love someone to do a chronological timeline video on YouTube of Yakuza, because I guess it would have begun, it would have all begun with Yakuza 4, actually, and the backstory that's going on in Saijima chapter. In the same clan, my dad was investigating after the Yoshiharu went a hit right around when he was murdered. Yeah, so apparently Tanimura's dad is dead, and I guess he's an orphan or some shit. And he's very close with the local Chinese immigrants. You think this is connected somehow? I can't say. All I know is the Wena Sewa clan been quiet for 25 years. They mentioned Korea. I've been to Korea this summer. It was... You know, I want to fucking move there. You know why? Because I want to have a fucking goal in life. And I was like, you know what? That's going to be my fucking goal. I don't know. I don't fucking have any other ones. Got to come up with something. Also, I don't want to be stuck in this fucking god-awful fucking place I live in, grew up in, and was born in. I fucking hate it. I've seen enough of it. I'm fucking sick of looking at this fucking place. It looks the same 
for over 20 fucking years, nothing about it changes. It's fucking awful. Can't say all I know is the Uena Sewa clan been quiet for 25 years. But now there's this shooting a week ago and suddenly they're gone into overdrive? Something's definitely up. It almost feels like somebody dug them up from the grave. Only to be like, oh, let's blame it all on this clan that's been kind of dead in the water for the past 25 years. Like, yeah, they, I guess still exist, but no one gives a shit. Following this case would lead me to someone who knows the truth about who killed my dad. It's... It, I don't know. I want to say something stupid, but I couldn't think of anything. You still looking for the woman? Yeah. Yasuko Saijima, her brother Taiga, is the one who carried out the hit in Onueno. He's well informed. I thought this was going to be a big revelation, and instead he just knows about it already. She's been missing ever since that went down. And you really think this Yasuko Saijima knows why your father was killed? Maybe, maybe not. The last thing written in his notebook was meet with Yasuko Saijima. That has to mean something. She might even be the last person who saw him alive. Hold on, let me get it. Where the fuck did I put it, man? Where the fuck's my phone? Oh, shit, I can't find it. Oh, it's been up my ass this whole time. Okay. There it is. Is this Tony Mura? Man, I wouldn't put my phone this close to my face. Yeah, speaking. This is Park. <laughs> Which Park? The manager at Midori. Midori? Alright, the Korean salon. What do you fucking want? What is wrong with your fucking head? Do you have leprosy? Can you come here as soon as possible? Why, the police raiding the place or something? No, nothing like that. It's about the woman you've been looking for. Someone who just looks just like her is here right now. Are you fucking serious? That's why I'm calling. Hurry up before she leaves. Okay, be right there. Talk about the devil. Back up my ass. Something wrong, bitch? I knew it. That killing was something in motion. That killing said something in motion. Zhao saw it, I think I found her. Oh, that's Zhao. I thought Zhao was the, the guy we gave the money to. I mean, took the money from. Wait, the woman we were just talking about? Yeah, what a coincidence. I don't know if it's really her, but I've got no reason to doubt it. I got so many fucking games, by the way, on my Steam Deck that I'm running out of fucking space. I think I can install, like, one more game, and I installed Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I don't really like it. Never really been a fan of this series. But I will try it out. Also, I downloaded a bunch... My friend shared his Steam account with me, and now whenever he buys a game, I get it. And he I, buys games way more often on Steam, at least, than I do. So, I have a fuck ton of games, and you know what, most of them I don't really intend to play. So maybe over the weekend, I'll sit down, record a bunch of fucking videos of all these games, and then I'll just simply... Just simply, you know, move on. Delete them and make space for more Nintendo games. You think? I'm serious. You're telling me this woman shows up out of nowhere right as the Uena Sewa makes the biggest ruckus in 25 years? Well, the Uena Sewa clan was missing and hiding. And she was gone. I guess she might be part of it. Or she might have been working for them. The timing's too perfect. So you're saying she's involved somehow? Well, you're about to find out, aren't you? Now go, find her, before she disappears again. Alright. Find your beloved. I put her on a thumbnail already before. Because I forgot. I mean, I didn't have any fucking more relevant thumbnail. She was relevant to that episode, but I just... I don't know. The other thumbnails were... Not good enough. You often... And running already, Machan? Don't fucking call me that. Yeah, business as usual. You know how it is. Machan. Fuck off. Sounds stupid. Meihua. Let us know if you need anything, okay? You know, you're always welcome here. After all, we couldn't be called homeland if we weren't your home. After, away from home. That's lots of... What the fuck is that animal in the back? 
like a goose, I guess. That's sweet, my hua, thank you. It reminds me of Shenmue when you fucking talk to a bunch of. I guess Shenmue 2 is the one that takes place in China. I have access to a hideout. Here you can save your game, move items, and blah blah blah. By the way, have you noticed how small my health bar is? Jesus Christ, it's smaller than my heat bar. It's ridiculous. So this is my safe house, I guess. I don't own a house. I mean, Sajima didn't own the house either. He lived in a fucking... shitty ass... basement. I wonder if the woman at Midori is the same one I've been looking for. I don't know, I think there's keys around here though, and as you know... Keys... Are more important to me than life. I wish I had the key detector. Fuck. What's up, old man? Welcome, welcome. The fuck is this sake? Heat up this sake to really bring out its flavor. A heated up alcohol? Should help increase your heat when you're feeling down. Heat, Alright then. I think, Jesus Christ, I wish the camera wasn't this fucking close to me all the time. Game fight reports, east, whatever the fuck. I think here there's like a girl you meet later and she teaches you a bunch of moves. Which would be cool because I think it's actually... Oh my god, there are fucking keys. Which I think is cool because she reminds me of uh, people like Komaki in the previous Yakuza games who would teach you a bunch of fucking fighting moves. But then they weren't really... I don't know, they've never been of much importance to the plot. Actually, I think the game starts, this whole fucking game started Yakuza 4 by Akiyama meeting Komaki. 2 million yen in one week? That's impossible. We just have to trust him. He'll be back to return the money. Lee, Lee's wife, Lee's son, Lee's family, that's what they're all named. When a million years... When a million years from now? His room was completely empty. Your friend took you for everything you were worth. What's going on here? Listen to this, this good for nothing fool just ruined our whole lives. They'll take our restaurant unless we get 2 million yen by the end of the week. I'm sorry, what the actual fuck? I don't get the full picture. One of my friends needed some money, but he didn't have anything for collateral, so... That's no reason to put our restaurant on the chopping block. Really, how much of an idiot are you? How can I say not to helping out a friend in need? Help, the only help you've done is help ruin our business and destroy our livelihood. Oh, not what we're going to do. We worked our hands to the bone for years to get this place. Now we're going to lose it over nothing. Sorry. So I got took for two million, huh? That's a lot of money. I don't even think Zhao Sun has that much tucked away. What's all this commotion? What? Did someone mention me? Oh, Zhao Sun, do you have two million yen? Guess what happened to this guy? Guess, guess what happened to this fucking idiot? What a moron. It's just as your wife says, there are limits to what you can do for people. Can't you use some Asian getaway funds? What is he, the fucking king of this place? No way, we don't have two million lying around. Yeah, I figured as much. The only other thing I can think of is gambling, but two million is a dicey proposition. Don't tell me, you're seriously considering this? I am. Now, Shao San, do you know of any underground casinos? Somewhere with really high stakes? This is Lee's door, Macha, and you don't have to go that far out of your way to help him. I usually lose when I'm gambling, so maybe don't fucking force a gambling minigame on me? A gambling side quest forcing me to gamble for 2 million yen? I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna be in debt for 2 million yen. Oh my fucking hand, I can't take it. Awful. Uh, I can't help him even if he wanted. Even if I wanted 
do with my salary, but there's nothing wrong with earning a quick buck at the tables, right? I don't know, I'm not a free, big gamble gambler, you know? A lot of people at my work actually uh, bet money on fucking sport matches and shit. They often talk about what fucking results they got. They bet on tennis matches, soccer matches, bunch of fucking shit. Fights, races even sometimes. And you know what? I'm kind of fucking shocked at how many people do that in my workplace. It's usually the older people, but some of the guys around my age do it too. It's like, damn, I'm not really big into gambling. If that's your decision, then I won't complain. I'm more of a person that if I have, let's say, 10 bucks, I'd rather keep the 10 bucks than be tempted by the... than be tempted by the possibility of earning of turning my 10 bucks into 20 bucks but also having a chance of losing it entirely i do it in games sometimes like yeah sure because i don't really give a shit when it happens in a game but when it happens in real life then i'm not really into it it's a korean over the side check it out house cabaret house i read it i read the fucking text Kiaba Re House I read the text, holy shit. But I've been worried about you getting into gambling regardless of all your help you've given us, that's why I haven't told you. Tell me what. You should probably learn for a third language I speak, probably learn something that's at least based in the Latin language, right? I don't really give a shit. If there's an underground casino in Kamurocho, people call the Dragon Palace. Is that the one in the, you know, uh, fucking... Is that the one where the Colosseum is? Really? Do you know where it is? I think that Nimura also doesn't have access to Colosseum. Only Saijima and Kiryu have access to it. Only that it's somewhere in Park Boulevard. That's a start. I'll go look for it. Thank you. One good thing about the older Yakuza games that disappears in the sixth game and I think in Yakuza 2 it's missing as well, is that side quests are actually marked on the map, so you know where to look for them, and if you see a, ma a marker on the map, you go to it and trigger a side quest. But in Yakuza 6, side quests aren't marked on the map, and you have to run into them by accident. It was the same case in Yakuza Kiwami, and I remember in my original playthrough of Yakuza Kiwami, I actually got a lot more side quests than in my actual Let's Play. I actually missed a bunch of shit. Not to mention some of the side quests I just straight up didn't finish. I feel like my Yakuza Kiwami let's play was a, was kind of fucked up. I could have done a lot more stuff in that game. But I'm not going to come back to it and make a bonus episode. Doing a bunch of shit. Because, like, I don't fucking care. Maybe I'll do it at some point. I'll never say that I won't do it because I, like, five years after the fact, came back to Fallout 4 to, to do one more episode. But in that game's case, I had one more quest missing from doing all the quests in the game. I was one quest away, it was the Kate's personal quest. So, and then I was like, well, I don't have the save file anymore. But then I realized that because I'm subscribed to PS Plus all the time, I actually did hit my save file. And you know what? I, I've been subscribed to PS Plus for a while, but if I don't... If I recall correctly, I subscribed around September for a year. Then they raised the prices of it. And, like, am I even still subscribed to PS Plus? Maybe I fucking don't have the subscription. No, I am. I fucking downloaded the games in October. And everything. And PlayStation would have let me know if my subscription would run out. But I don't remember paying again for it. So, like, what the fuck? Have I paid for it and I didn't realize? Have I bought more than... One year? I don't fucking know. Maybe I bought it for life. Maybe there's some glitch. Maybe I'm subscribed forever. Don't worry about it. Besides, we're talking about gambling here. There's a strong chance I'll lose. I don't get your hopes up yet. And if I do manage to win, that'll just, that'll just mean you have luck on your side, right? Sir, you're wonderful. Well, I'll be back. Is this episode over? Oh shit, it is. The Dragon Palace is somewhere in Park Boulevard. Huh? I should go have a look. Thankfully, we are right next to some kind of a safe 
point where I want to read the Korean sign again. Uh, not sure what that's supposed to be. Is it a m? Mo. Mo fucking. Moria. Red cabaret house, though, so it's a cabaret here. So we're gonna stick around here and save the game and the Chinese restaurant. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.